Hey Taurus, this is Spiritual Goddess. How y'all doing? How y'all been? I would like to first off thank you guys for your love and support. We have passed 100 subscribers. So I truly appreciate you guys for subscribing and taking the time out to watch it. Um, Because if you if you guys didn't watch, I'd just be me talking to myself on, on this iPad. So I really appreciate you guys for just tuning in. Um, let's continue to grow this channel. Um, thank you guys for sticking through, sticking by me while I be in and out. Um, I'm just getting over a cold or whatever the hell has been going on. But I'm so dramatic when I get sick, it feels like I'm going to die. So that's what took me so long. I was trying to get better. I'm still hella congested, but I feel better. You guys have been on my mind. It's still your season. So again, happy birthday. So if you're getting lit now, turn up this weekend. Um, have a drink for me. <laughs> Shit. Um, but other than that, there is... Um, one thing that I have been um, getting for you guys, downloads, is that you guys feel like you, you all are stuck between a rock and a hard place. Um, I just had a hard time getting that out. So you guys could be struggling to voice your opinions, to get out what you what you want to say. Um, 1.33 on the timer. Um, it feels like if you damn if you do and you damn if you don't like you just feel like it doesn't matter which decision you make is going to be the wrong choice to whoever these people are um this could be family this could be friends this could be um your lover this can be your your parents whoever um but it's so much pressure on you Taurus and you just feel like no matter what I do I'm going to be wrong anyway and that's just what I'm getting. You just feel like you're going to be wrong anyway. So let's just figure out exactly what's going on. Um, what's the current energy? What situation is exactly triggering you and making you feel this way? Because we can't have you feeling this way. And it's your birthday. So it's like, what the fuck? Like, hell. So let's just dig into it, Taurus. One card for Taurus. This minute. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Um, you guys got two cards that came out, but let's get one. Damn, y'all got a whole lot going on, Taurus. I just need one. What's the current situation? Girl talk. With separation at the bottom of the deck. So, time with friends, moving on, happy, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. So, what I'm getting with that is you all are needing to release this pressure. Um, all of... All of this anxiousness, this anxiety, this buildup... Um, you're needing to relieve that and maybe just some quiet time with the people that you trust it will be helpful right now, Taurus. Going out, having a drink, getting lit this weekend, like I was saying earlier, um, is much needed, especially with your birthday being up. Why are you down and it's your birthday? You should not feel pressure to do anything but enjoy your time your birthday your season however y'all are celebrating Taurus because I know y'all probably doing it the most especially with y'all fly dressing ass y'all know y'all can dress gotta give it to y'all Taurus know they be fly coat bag shoes gotta match on point every time and then don't let no don't forget the accessories. Taurus is fly. Well, let's see. You guys got the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot in reverse. So there is a block in communication. There has been um, information that you've been seeking. And maybe you're moving too fast. And sources needing you to be patient. Um, the information that you're running towards, that you're trying to get, or 
You're trying to get clarity before you make this decision or before you make these moves. Before you do this or you're moving too fast and source is needing you to relax. You're needing to relax and weigh out all your options because it's something that you don't even see that's coming towards you. And that's why you're at a halt right now. That's why you feel burdened because source is trying to tell you the choices or the direction that you're going towards or that you're leaning towards is honestly not the right path to go because it's just going to lead you towards the Ten of Wands. Let's see. The Ten... What did I just say? The Ten of Wands. That was the Ten of Swords. My bad. That was betrayal. I'm sorry. So, the Ten of Wands. <laughs> That's crazy. Carrying burdens. Being disappointed. Feeling scattered. It's a lot of movement that you're making, Taurus. And you need to be still right now. Your intuition is lit right now. And you're not using it. You need to follow your gut. Not, and I'm, I'm going to say this as nice as I can. Get out your feelings. <laughs> Get out your feelings. There's a lot of things heading your way. There's a lot of things heading your way. It's destined. You're going to have a lot of options. A lot of doors will be opening. But you're too stuck on this one particular door. This one particular avenue, this one particular decision that you feel is like the ultimate way to go or the ultimate choice or this is the end all be all. And it's not. Source is telling you, you got six other doors. You cannot sit there and, and put all your eggs in this one basket when God got something else that's destined for you, Taurus. So, I hope this message helps. Namaste.